Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. And so if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and make sure you turn on your post notifications on and make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. And so, yeah, so this is a place to be. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for the support. The channel is growing and it's all thanks to you guys. And I'm so grateful. So today I am going to react to light bulb moments. All right. So, uh, so she interviewed uh, I think it was yesterday, so yesterday, you know, 2021, depending on when you watch this video. So it's Mungai Eve. So my father lost his job, I dropped out and started YouTube. So this was during an event when Miss Trudy was celebrating her 200,000 subscribers. It was a meet and greet uh, with her boyfriend, Awodemaya. So let's see what Mungai Eve has to do, has to tell us. And yeah, let's get straight into this video. As for me, uh, I would like to you guys that I struggle so much to get content. Mm. God has, has given me that. I love her nails are on point. Gosh, I love her nails. She looks nice. Yes. <laughs> this one. This one. Yeah, That's this African one. traveler. Yeah. 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 So if I'm not wrong, I think light bulb moments is African traveler's wife. So they make a great couple. Ah. <laughs> ah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. And I want I want one of those t-shirts. So I need to contact African the Traveler uh, and I need one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. thank, thank you, African yeah. Traveler, yeah. for gifting. Yeah. For yeah. gifting yeah. my guests. I would like to know their real names though, you know? Because light bulb moments. I hope you watch this video. So I would like to know your real name and the same as African Traveler, your real names. <laughs> Yeah, remember to subscribe. Yes, you can follow me as well on Instagram. It's Connie W. Kenneth, but you have, um, you know, in the description below. Guys, uh, it's such an honor to meet Mongai Eve, the Mongai Eve. Come on, the. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching. Real. Yeah, for real, guys. Uh, Mongai Eve, I didn't know her before the meetup, and I'm I'm so happy to discover she looks to be such a humble person. Do you know? I guess she hit the 100,000 subscribers at the meet and greet, and she's just so humble. So I'm really looking forward to checking her content and maybe reacting to some of her videos. So if you know of any video from Mungai Eve that you would like me to react to, make sure you know. Just drop a comment below. Ah, uh, she's doing an amazing job. In Look at how beautiful light bulb moments is. I love her eyes. I love her. I love her teeth separation. You know, wow, she, she's so pretty. Great people highlighting mm -hmm. the stories of the the people that are never given an opportunity to share their stories, especially people from the ghetto. Yeah, you know, <laughs> they come with okay, that's so unique. That is so unique because if she highlights stories from the ghetto, then I've not seen anybody else do that. And I think it's nice to give the voice to the young people in the ghetto and just, you know, telling their stories. So, okay, okay, Mungai Eve, that's very interesting. I will check out your channel. The, the ghetto queen, the ghetto <laughs> queen. <laughs> yeah, so she's representing such stories in Kenya mm -hmm. and she's doing an amazing job. You should check her out. And it's such a great honor to get an opportunity to talk to her and interview her. I know she's used to being on this other yeah. side. <laughs> yeah, she looks empty. She doesn't know what to do with her hands. You can just tell she's not so comfortable being on the other side, which makes sense because she's the one who interviews. So her being interviewed is a different exercise altogether. So I feel I, you can tell she's a little bit uncomfortable, you know. So, yeah, so that makes sense. She's, yeah, she's, <laughs> she's saying she's never been here alone. Yeah, I but I so much today. Yeah. I had a cold. I'm, I'm having a cold. We're in Nairobi. It's very cold. So I'm having a cold and I have talked. I've done like a over 20 videos. So <laughs> yeah. With my yeah. So Mungai Eve, how uh, did you start your YouTube journey? Hi, start my YouTube journey. Yeah. Okay, I started last year mm -hmm. around November. Mm -hmm. 
wait, wait a minute. Did she say she started last year around November? December, January, February, March, April. So it's only always only been like six months. Like she gained 100 subscribers in six months. What? What? Okay. So you see, your stories, Mongay Eve, are impacting people. So keep up the good work. What? Well, I'm. What? Last year. Yeah, I'm five months old on this show. Five months old and we have 100k plus subscribers. What? <laughs> oh, I think that is so humbling. That is so humbling. And I would be so curious to know her life before YouTube, you know, what, what made her go to YouTube and start YouTube and how she came up with the idea and the niche that actually, you know, is attracting people to a channel Wow, I am so, wow, I'm in shock right now. I guess it's one of the biggest, um, youngest, biggest growing channels <laughs> I would say that I've seen so far. And that is really, she's doing a tremendous job. So I guess I have to check out your channel for sure, for sure. If that is not favor. Yeah, mm. it's God's favor. I would say it's God's favor. Yeah. Mm. The reason I started YouTube, it's mm -hmm. because I dropped out of school. Yeah. When Corona came, yeah. my dad lost his job. Yeah. It was, not a, it was not even a job that he was employed or something. Yeah. It was just um, a small business that he started. Yeah. Like, mm. like, yeah, because for sure, you know, Corona really impacted so many lives. It changed so many lives. And so you have people who really... Uh, turned that negative energy into something positive and they yes, tried work. Yeah. Sorry. And they tried to come up with um, you know, ideas, solutions and stuff like that. So I guess everything in life it's all about your why. You know, you need to know your why. So I guess her why was her father who lost her job, so it was a bit difficult financially and stuff like that. So she had to look for a solution. So I assume that is the story behind her starting a YouTube channel. So he couldn't get money to yeah. get me back to school. Yeah. So when things started getting better. Yeah. So that was last year September. And he was like, I'm going to stay at home. Yeah. So come to Nairobi and get a job. Yeah. Since I'm, I can't just be staying at home doing nothing. Yeah. So it was tough. And yeah. I have an amazing director. Yeah. He, apparently he's also my boyfriend. Ah. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, so okay, so your director, videographer is actually your boyfriend as well. Okay, so how is it working as a couple? Oh my goodness, I guess there there must be challenges because you most definitely don't have the same ideas, the same way of doing stuff and that so it must be challenging, but I guess it makes a couple grow stronger because you're building actually an empire together. So he had so much belief in me. Yeah. He was doing just a master education back in school. And yeah. And see, I'm going back next year. Yeah. So he had so much belief in me. He yeah. He was telling me, you can do this. I have some ideas I want to share with you. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's try. Because yeah. Because saying it for so long. Yeah. Uh, until a time, I said, now let's do it. Yeah. Because I have been looking for a job. I'm not getting one. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the jobs that I'm getting, it's mm -hmm. not worth it. I'm getting a job for 10K. 10, uh, 10K is how many dollars? Um, <laughs> 10. No, it's 100. Dollars. 10 dollars yeah. per month. Yes, I'm supposed to. No, 100 dollars, sorry. Yes, 100 dollars <laughs> per month. Per month. And when I calculate the supper, the everything I'm, I am supposed Food, to. Food, rent. It's so much. Yeah, it's so much. Yeah. 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 So that's how I started. Yeah. Like, dropping out of school made me realize that I can do something else. else. Yeah. yeah. And in school, I was doing journalism and mass communication. So I have. Okay. So journalism and mass communication that goes in line with what you're doing right now. You know, I guess when it comes to journalism, it has really changed. Because when you look at all these YouTubers highlighting different places in their country, be it in Africa, in Europe, whatever you are, then it, it is just like taking over. Uh, you know, the mainstream journalism because she knows she went to school and learned about journalism and now she can be, um, a, she's a journalist actually because she's highlighting stories in the ghetto from what I've, I've seen so far. So you did, you don't have to be a news anchor for you, um, you know, to, to, you know, to, you know, to showcase something. So, okay. Okay. Oh, I love this. Her story is so inspiring. I love it. 
passion of mm. being on camera, but yeah. he didn't know I can be a content creator. Yeah. Because it's always about being a, a, an anchor. Okay. Yeah. 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 So would you say COVID affected you in a positive way? I would say so. I know yeah. it's, it might sound wrong, mm. yeah. but yeah. COVID when you look at it, it is Honestly, COVID has changed so many lives. And I feel like COVID was the awakening of people and looking for solutions like online businesses. Uh, you have the you have content creators. So many people went to YouTube because everybody watches YouTube and most people no longer even watch TV anymore. You have everything you need on, on, on YouTube, education, entertainment, relaxing, sports. Everybody just turned to YouTube and I feel it was the beginning for those who were, you know, I would say intelligent enough to, you know, to go to YouTube. I mean, I understand why her channel grew so fast in such a short time because she managed to, you know, to entertain people by educating them at the same time. Okay, I inspiring. <laughs> I love this. I love this so much. And your dream. Exactly. Yeah. Something I didn't know that I have. Yeah. Something that I didn't know I can do. Yeah. So I would say when a challenge comes, mm -hmm. try taking it in a positive way. Mm -hmm. Stop dwelling so much on the negativity. Mm -hmm. Say, oh, you know there is corona, we can't do this and let's try it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, especially that time I think I think the reason it why I picked so fast is because mm -hmm. um the period that there was corona, so many people were at home, yeah, and nothing, they were just mm -hmm. online. Yeah. My thoughts exactly, and I agree with her. I am. That's my personality. I'm like that. If something happens that weighs me down, I acknowledge actually the the negative moment. I'm like, okay, it has happened. So of course I need to deal with my emotions, but I do not allow my emotions to get over me because I think that's where most people go wrong. You allow the emotion to eat up all the positive energy around you and you just concentrate on what's going wrong and just acknowledge it it's okay do not ignore the you know do not ignore the negative thing that is happening to you right now acknowledge it and then just you know just try and look for the wolf for the way forward excuse me just try and look for the way forward and you will see that once you decide to go forward your brain will start opening doors your brain will acknowledge that now you're ready to move forward and it will just open doors um, in ways that you would never have imagined in way because we tend to put the barriers ourselves actually you know we're 100 percent responsible for our lives not not your husband not your wife not your mom not your dad by the end of the day it's your life so you are responsible so let's stop blaming uh corona joblessness i was fired this and that this and that but just take over the driver's seat and you know stop being in the passenger seat that's how i I look at things, you know, because the thing is, if you're in the passenger seat, then you're just depending on the driver. But if you take the driver's seat, then you go wherever you want to go and nothing can stop you. So I guess that's the message she you knows she wants to to put across. So I love it. When something happens into your life, even if it's a negative thing, you make try... lemonade. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> exactly, light bulb moments. Yeah, you make lemonade. I mean, life, when life throws lemons at you, make lemonade. Exactly, 100%. I like that. <laughs> you make lemonade out of that situation. Yeah. Yeah. I swear, I'm not from nothing. Yeah. Guys, I'll one day I'll do a video. Um, I bet guys are from the village. Yeah. Village. Which I'm village do you represent? Ranga, okay. Ranga County. Yeah. Um, but guys, just to let you know, we are all about being what? Being yeah. tribeless. Yeah. Tribeless. yeah. So we are not asking about the tribe for yeah. any purpose. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so yeah. it's very nice to highlight that because we are all one people by the end of the day. We are all Kenyans. You know, we have our different identities with the different tribes, wherever you come from and so on. So, yeah, we are just one people. That's it. So, but it's important to know from where, where you come yeah, from yeah. and understand your identity yeah. and what you represent. Yeah, I'm from, I'm from Moranga. Yeah. Yeah, so even me getting the courage to go to the ghetto. So many people ask, Are you, have you grown in the ghetto? No, I have not. You don't yeah. have to grow there so that you can do. You don't have to be in that place so that you can do something that you need to do. You can, mm. you can start doing even content from another country and you are not even from that country. Yeah. It's where you are just trying to try making it 
impact yeah. and it's a new thing that you are doing. So tell us, how do you get the people you interview? How do you contact them? Yeah. Uh, first of all, I would love to run God. Mm. Finding content, it has never been easy. I, not easy, it has never been tough for me. All right. Okay. Can you drop the gems a little bit? <laughs> tell us a little bit more about that. But I guess when you're making an impact, in the beginning, she said it has never been difficult because she's she's changed, she's making an impact. So when you're making an impact, naturally things come to you and you don't have to go after them. So I guess that's that's her story right now. I don't know. I think that's what she's going to say. People go to her, like they come to her for, you know, can you feature me on your channel? Can you tell my story, right? Uh, I'm so lucky. At all. Right now, if you check my Instagram DM, I'm happy to talk to you who wants the interview. Yeah. Mimi, yeah. as for me, uh, I won't lie to you guys that I struggle so much to get content. Mm. God has, has given me that grace. Most people reach me out. Yeah. Mm. Most people, if, I've, if I have reached out to people, yeah. it's someone I have reached out because maybe I have seen him, him or her popping somewhere. Yeah. And I thank God. If I have not reached some, somebody, I have never received a turn down. Nobody mm. has never turned me down. Mm. But I would say a lot of my co my contact and the people that I interview mm. reach me out. Ah. Yeah, since, the, since day one. Yeah, you see, you see, that's the thing. And she's she, you can just tell from her face, she's a nice person. A genuine person like I like calling them and that's what I'm attracted to I'm attracted to genuine people you can tell they're generous and they're you know they're just genuine just genuine so yeah you attract um, who you are in a way so that makes sense hundred percent and because you're creating an impact of course people will come to you it's the law of attraction Oh, I don't know how. What is that one video that you did that either inspired you or changed the way you thought about something or just shifted your whole oh. uh, YouTube career? Hey, can I just say how I love light bulb moments, your questions? Your questions are so good. <laughs> your questions are just on point. I love them. Johnny. Okay. I love them. You know, it's like telling me between my my kids, I choose one. You're right. right. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, maybe I'll shock many of you, but then the video I did, mm -hmm. uh, I did with a guy. Apparently, he was buying for an empty seat on Twitter. Yeah. So I did a certain video. It was an update video. We were reviewing the reviewing the update for that week. Yeah. And, uh, I felt so good. Mm -hmm. I never thought I could do something extra. You know, I'm used to interviewing theater or interviewing people, but now mm -hmm. it's like something. It's like a show. Yeah. I'm, I'm hosting a show. I felt so good. People really watched. You know, maybe mm -hmm. I'm so yeah, Like I'm used to talking to people, interviewing people. I was not believing people can just watch me and me. Yeah. Then there are some videos I've been doing mm -hmm. lately. Videos about me, me talking about my YouTube, mm -hmm. talking about mm -hmm. what you can do to your grow your channel, such things. And I've seen people watching me, like knowing that you're getting your audience who can sit and watch mm -hmm. you alone, mm -hmm. not having some other people that you are interviewing you alone. It has been a very, very good thing that has. Oh uh, yeah, I understand you completely. Um, I think uh, it just pays because people can just, of course, when you're in front of the camera i mean people want to know more about you and sometimes you don't really we don't we don't really want to talk about ourselves and yeah it makes sense completely when you it's so fulfilling i would say to know that people are interested in you as a person and not because of you know your guest on on your show so i understand ever happy like happy feeling like i'm making an impact yeah yeah you know kitambo is to fear yeah. and then upload a video and it's me just talking to again people maybe want to watch yeah i don't have something that you can something I interesting to yeah, say yeah maybe i can't talk and people listen yeah like that yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so <laughs> okay so you your shirt says i speak fluent sarcasm <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I okay, yeah. I know, but you know, I'm I was like 
that before because I used to buy stuff with you know writings but I didn't really care about the message on on the top but nowadays I, I pay attention to it because we're in a society where every single people just observe every single thing and they can take it in a in a you know in a bad way so I she doesn't look sarcastic at all I don't believe it's in her personality but I think she just bought it because it's a nice you know it's a nice hoodie so <laughs> It's all <laughs> about what you represent. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, this Mimi, this job, mm -hmm. I got it from Mr. Price. Um, oh, really? Yeah. I think. By the way, you should show. But hey, guys. So your. Hey, hey. 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 Oh, ah, really good. <laughs> thank you so much. I love oh, the shoes. Thank you. Thank you. I love the shoes. Thank you so much. Yes. So, guys. Uh, actually, I speak fluent sarcastic. Yeah. Right I'm not even sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> It is my director who's telling me, hey, this is it. it's written, I speak fluent sarcasm and I should delete this one. It doesn't uh, uh, to present. It's just a top, there you can go and get something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like Ume Bambi Kanayo, you just get it. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's what I thought. That's what I, it makes sense. I, I was like that before and I'm saying was because, yeah, nowadays I just, I'm very careful with what I buy, is, you know, with the writings. So yeah. Actually, <laughs> Talk to that lady in the ghetto in uh, in uh, a job that they are stuck in, and they are looking to start this uh, YouTube journey. Talk to that person. Okay, they are in a job and they are stuck. Now they want to turn to YouTube. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know whether it's a good advice or a bad one, but yeah. okay, I would love to say it's not happening. It's my own opinion. I don't know whether it's good. What else? Let me tell you before she answers. Personally, I've just started YouTube and I, I have always wanted to start YouTube, but I never really thought I was capable of, you know, um, you know, retaining the audience and just, you know, for people to just sit down and watch me. OK, but after some point, I was like, because I love watching you, I was like, why, why not? just uh you know just uh react to videos of people that i've watched and i'm starting to especially from africa because i've always watched stuff but not african youtubers and then when i realized the impact african youtubers are making in africa for africa i was like wow i guess this is something that i love doing and i'm really passionate about doing and i'm really enjoying all these videos from everybody that I've reacted to, and I'm really looking forward to reacting to more videos from other African YouTubers. So if you know of anybody, please make sure you drop me a link, their link uh, in the description below, and I will be so, so happy in the comments, or in the comments below, and I'll be so happy to react to them. So I would say, when you're starting YouTube, do not do it because you want to make money. There's a whole misconception about YouTube just making money, making my money. I would say, do it because it's a passion, do it because you love what you're doing because when you start doing things just to do them then you start it gets boring and then you don't really create an impact and so i wouldn't say uh i wouldn't tell that person do it you know just do it just for doing it i would say do it because you love what you're doing and you you have um you're unique and you have a different way of doing stuff, especially if you want to do YouTube as a full-time job, then it's a lot of work. You need to be prepared for all that stuff. So that would be my don't do it for the money, do it for passion and for creating an impact. And of course, naturally, the money will come, but later on, and I guess slowly by slowly, as you you know, as you continue creating an impact, then you can, but just don't do it because just for the money, just for the numbers, it's not the way to go. Okay never start a channel because like you don't have something to do mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. it's like you don't have another way to so know why mm -hmm. youtube it can frustrate you right. yes. it can... youtube can frustrate you oh my goodness yes it's... i have just started i started my first video was on the 10th of may and i remember the first days I think I w it was just my views. Like, I would just go back and watch my videos. I have different Gmail accounts. I would just go back and watch my videos because I entertained myself. And it was just my... And then slowly by slowly, people have started joining um, my channel. And I am so grateful for each and every one of you guys. And to be honest with you, I had given myself until end of June to have 100 subscribers. And 
it's just the beginning of June and we're almost at 200 subscribers and I am so grateful. And so, yeah, so thank you everybody who subscribed. I, I love what I'm doing right now, Ria, and I'm, I, I just love the fact that people are actually, you know, joining my channel and enjoying and commenting and we're having fun. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe because more videos are coming. And yeah, time as well, time as which well. is also money. Time is money. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. don't start it because you don't have an other. Start it because you love it. You're passionate. It. So first, it must be your passion. Exactly. Yeah. And so now yeah, you're saying next year you want to go back to school. What yeah, will happen? What given happen? what you've just said, <laughs> that YouTube requires time and money and a lot of effort. Okay. How do you plan to balance? I plan to balance. Mm -hmm. Okay. If well, I think, you know, as a YouTuber, you realize with time, you make so many videos in advance. It's my strategy. I always make videos in advance because I'm a mom, I, I work and full time. And so every time I have like an hour here and there, I film a lot of videos and I just I have them in my, you know, in my YouTube studio. So yeah, I think that's her strategy. I guess she will just film videos and or work because you can go to school in the evening. I don't know. It happens and I, get, I go back next year to school. You know, next year you're having elections, so you don't know what is going to happen. Yeah. If I go back to school maybe next year, what will happen is, um, actually, I'm planning to have a co host. Mm -hmm. So, and I will go to a school where maybe I can do uh, evening classes, such uh, as yeah. But mm -hmm. I, I'm a full time YouTuber, guys. I want so to should people YouTube. apply for that? Mm -hmm. A uh, co-host position. <laughs> For course, I think it's so. Is I it an internship it. or a full-time okay, job? <laughs> but anyway, you let them know. Yeah, you know, but then I let time. them know. <laughs> yeah. So if you're looking to work with uh, Eve, uh, leave a comment there. <laughs> yeah, and get in touch with her. Um. So, uh, what should we expect from your channel moving forward? Okay, what I expect. Mm -hmm. uh, I have so many expectations, mm -hmm. but my biggest. Uh, mm -hmm. I love my channel. Okay, the next few years, uh, God help me. I know for sure she's going to start her own TV station, or because she she loves her job, you know, as a journalist, and you know, I think she will start like a, maybe a, a TV channel or a YouTube TV, something like that. Mm -hmm. So that it can become a big, big media, media oh. house. Yeah. Not just a channel. Mm -hmm. Like we want to take it to another level. You know, nowadays most people are watching YouTube. They are not even watching the local channel. Mm -hmm. Such things. Things have changed. Yeah. But want to attack online stuff. Mm -hmm. Always on online. They are not with their yeah. TVs or yeah. at work. Mm -hmm. They are not walking around with their TVs, but they are with their phones. Mm. Yeah, you can find everything on your phone today. Actually, personally, I no longer watch news. I no longer watch TV. Um, yeah, I always educate myself online, entertain myself online, and so on. I love it to be on online TV, but Mungwa Kinijalia to become a mainstream media house. And what uh, stories would you I thought so. showcase in that? That's, that's that channel. My channel. What are you? What impact do you want to to have through that channel? Okay, me, me, my signature, my signature myself mm -hmm. is the ghetto, right? Mm -hmm. And the upcoming artists. Yeah. So I'll give them a good platform, the upcoming artists, mm -hmm. to showcase their talent. Mm -hmm. For the ghetto, I want people to understand what really happens there. In the ghetto. In the next some months or years, mm -hmm. I get. Yeah, guys, because the upcoming artists are really being exploited. They are so exploited. They have talent. Um, their videos make millions of views, but the money never goes to them, but to their promoters and stuff like that. So I, I wish somebody would just, you know, somebody would just be a genuine person. 
uh, with, you know, with the upcoming artists because it's killing Kenyan music. It's just my two cents. But let me know in the comments below if you agree with me. I feel that the upcoming artists are being suppressed by the, the different uh, promoters and the different agencies. And yeah, the young people are really giving up on their dreams while they've got a lot, a lot, a lot of um, things to do, you know? Initiatives and projects. Yeah. Even if you're not get, getting them out, out of no, the, the ghetto, ghetto. We, can, yeah. we can better their lives. lives. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's been a great pleasure talking oh, to you. Question. Oh, tough <laughs> question. <laughs> yeah. she, she has impacting questions. Exactly. That's the kind of interviews that I love. Interviews that are inspiring and then you get to learn about your guests and you get to know where they come from where they're going and stuff like that so light bulb moments you did a great job a great 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 job so thank you girl uh, so thank you very much <laughs> and your shot thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for the opportunity to interview you yeah. i appreciate very much you're welcome thank i watch you so your much. content i engage with wow. you a lot thank, thank you so much i love it me. So keep on doing the great work that you're doing, showcasing <laughs> our story, and we will always be behind your back to support you. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Yeah. <laughs> That's another thing. I think as YouTubers, the support is very important. It's not a question of competition. There is no competition. You're just uplifting each other. And there is nothing as strong as an army of soldiers uplifting each other. You will go higher, higher. So absolutely, I agree with you, light bulb moment. It's nice to support each other and not thinking that if I comment here, then she will have my... No. You know, you you it's a win-win uh, game and of course, you know, a way of you know challenging each other and being accountable for each other. Right? Yeah. If, you, if you don't know this is the, this is the... Ah, there is a director, right? <laughs> that is uh, Eve's has husband, well future husband, boyfriend, okay, okay. Famous African traveler. This one, this one. Hey, That's this African one. traveler. Yeah. Yeah. I will. I will buy one. I want the black one, but the, the tribalist African one. Uh, that's a very nice one. By the way, if you want this this T-shirt, you can uh, get in touch with the African traveler. Extra small. Oh, you love big shirts. I wear very, very, very oversized. Oversized. We call them the I follow I follow South Africans so much. That's why most Kenya don't understand my accent. Oh, they don't understand. Yeah. If you check me keenly, and then you follow the South African. Yeah. Put a notice. Yeah. Today is your one of your biggest fan, and I got to know about your channel through African Traveler. So thank you very much for again gifting my guest. Yeah. Thank you. By this year, I'm back. Oh, thank you so much, light bulb moment, for this light bulb moment because it was a, it was such a lovely interview. I loved every single uh, question that you asked. I loved the, your guest, uh, Mungai Eve. So I have to run to her channel and see what she has to <laughs> what she has to say. And I yeah, I really enjoyed it. And I think that you know, I guess. The, the, I mean, the, the lesson that I get from this one is, you know, just keep going, keep pushing, never give up, follow you, follow your dreams. If you over, if you come across obstacles, make sure you overcome them. Just take the, you know, the positive out of the negative moment to move forward. And of course, you know, being your brother's keeper, just, you know, just helping each other out and, you know, having someone's back is very important because you uplift them, you guide them, you, you know, you motivate them when they're going through tough moments so 
If you like this reaction video, guys, make sure you comment. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. And so until next time, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video, guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye.